You know how Candace Owens always says, bring back manly men? Well, I believe that we should bring back feminine women, and in this video, I will tell you why. It has been suggested in many studies that feminists exhibit physiological characteristics associated with heightened masculinization. And given that feminism is ostensibly about equality and equal rights, it should be fair to say that while yes, women and men should both have rights in society, biologically speaking though, we are definitely not the same to be honest. Women are known to be nurturers and we have a sense where we are very affectionate and caring and men are known to be the leaders of the household. Many feminists also make the claim that they should have the same job opportunities as men and that men and women should have the same sexual freedoms. And while women do have the basic same job opportunities as men, feminists still unfortunately complain that they don't have these rights while they do. It is illegal to actually discriminate against females during the hiring process and in the workplace. Title VII of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 makes it illegal for an employer to discriminate against you based on your gender, race, religion, or national origin. But then some feminists unfortunately claim that they don't make the same amount of money as men do when they do go into certain careers that pay differently, such as the difference between the amount of money a therapist may make than what an engineer or attorney may make but it is illegal to discriminate against women in the workplace, and I want to encourage women to seek their true passions and to report anything that may make them feel uncomfortable in the workplace or in general. Feminine women are also very hard to come around nowadays. All of us know that becoming a feminist makes women less marriageable and generally just unpleasant to be around. These aren't just stereotypes, they're basically facts. There's a big study that according to the UCLA newsroom, women who adopt more leftist politics into their lives appear to basically be more masculine. Before we get more into the video, I wanted to give a shout out to our Patreon. Our Patreon is patreon.com slash redlibertymedia. Patreon basically helps RLM put into editors, producers, and sending contributors on location. So we wanted to also thank our supporters and we wanted to just shout out our Patreon in general. Thank you. And according to Jezebel, it actually openly admitted that right-wing women appear to be more feminine comparing to leftist women. Feminism is making women more masculine and this may be due to the fact that leftism and more right-leaning politics have many differences. First, American right-wing politics is profoundly tied up with the old-fashioned gender paradigm in which husbands are natural providers and women are known to be nurturers, as discussed before. But more leftist or left-wing women do not live by this role and they believe that they have better things to do or worry about. Feminists also believe that the noted differences between men and women are old-fashioned and they believe that now they no longer have to or believe that they should reform. Women aligning with more left-wing policies are generally known to be angrier as well than right-leaning women who are generally known to be happier. It is pretty well known that people who are angry, like feminists, for example, it really does kind of show on the face. Many studies show that people with right-wing point of views are much happier than those with left-wing point of views. The Pew Research Center even reported that 45% of right-leaning people are far happier than a reported estimate of 30% of left-wing people. We need to also realize that women aren't really helping the cause when they are calling themselves superhuman. And while I believe that people like single moms are superhuman, for example, and while I do have huge amounts of respect for them, I do feel like the term superhuman is used a lot by the feminist movement to describe women. We need to stop with this flowers and chocolate analogy as compensation for forcing women to try and live up to others' image of them as like demigoddesses instead of what they really are. Simple, complete, and powerful and intelligent human beings that were crowned by our creator to create new life, which is pretty amazing if you ask me. I do believe that we also need to teach young boys that they need to be good and strong leaders and amazing fathers and head of the household. Women need to encourage and inspire their men to reach their best potential, while men need to try and encourage women to try and reach their best potentials as well. These ideas are honestly not too old-fashioned. 
Being feminine or putting effort into your appearance is not a bad thing whatsoever, and this should be done in a classy and modest manner as well. I wanted to end this video, of course, by giving advice to the younger generation. To the younger generation, I would say, especially to young women out there, society puts a lot of emphasis on how negative it is to want to have children and be a mother. And there's nothing wrong with wanting to be a mother while also wanting to have a career. And I've experienced this my entire life by having a really strong woman as my mother who worked really hard to put herself through school. She had my brother and I, and she also is incredible when it comes to her job and being an amazing mother. She's able to have a career and also be an amazing mother to her children and her family. And at the same time, I would want to let women know that it is okay to want to be a mother and it's okay to want to have kids. And to boys out there, I think that we need to stop infighting between men and women. We need to stop the infighting between the sexes and actually come together and talk about certain things. And it's not bad to say that there are differences in men and women. This is very well known and it has been well known for centuries. And gender is not a social con construct like your professors or people on social media want to tell you. So to young men out there, I would encourage them that we need to uplift a strong generation of men so that they can be good fathers and we also need to inspire men and women to inspire one another because men and women need to stop fighting with each other and also there's absolutely nothing wrong with being a feminine modest woman and also having a brain and being feminine at the same time and it's totally okay to have a career and be a mother at the same time. And we need to stop putting negative emphasis on motherhood in society. It is an extreme honor for a woman to be able to have kids and people need to remember that. I also wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video and tuning into my second episode of Unfiltered with Red Liberty Media. And I wanted to thank Red Liberty Media again for this incredible opportunity. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe, and subscribe to Red Liberty Media. Thank you all so much, and from New Mexico, I'm Kira Bulby, and God bless, and take care.